House Bill 4 is a reemployment bill that's designed to get Kentuckians back to work and strengthen our unemployment system so that we don't face a devastating uh, situation as we've had twice. Because we had gone through two cycles, uh, 2009 and again in 2020 after COVID, where we had seen the uh, unemployment trust fund completely depleted uh, and our state had to rely on a federal loan. And as we looked at the issue of workforce participation in the state, we were finding that uh, we had a lot of folks that uh, were no longer participating in the workforce. And that was a concern because I was hearing from employers who were saying, you know, we're, they're begging for employees to come and work for them. And for the first time ever uh, in, in my district, a district that has I-65 running straight through it, I was seeing restaurants that normally would be open 24 seven, you know, were closing at six o'clock in the evening uh, because they just could not find folks to work. But I think the million dollar question is trying to figure out what do we have to do to get Kentuckians to return to work? The Foundation for Government Accountability uh, was a great organization to work with. They proposed and talked to me about the idea of indexing those benefits. It was uh, uh, done in nine other states. That indexing ties unemployment benefits to the current economic conditions. So when the uh, unemployment is lower and our economy is better, Fewer weeks are required to draw unemployment. When the economy uh, is in a tougher situation uh, and unemployment is higher, then we see uh, more uh, weekly benefits provided to, the, to unemployed individuals. I've told folks that I think that this is a game changer. Our unemployment trust fund hasn't been solvent since 1974, and I think that uh, we're gonna see our trust fund uh, grow stronger. I think right now we're at $782 million. Federal government says we need to have about a billion dollars in that account to maintain solvency. So I think that I think this bill really will be beneficial over the long term for the state of Kentucky and I think there'll come a day when we'll look back on it and, and say this is a really good piece of legislation that, uh, that really made a difference for the Commonwealth.